Oh no, it's Xavier and at long last! Welcome to a mission! Where I don't actually have to win it to succeed at the campaign! So this is the plan. We move up. Uh, I wanna wanna win the mission. We get 29 intel and intel reward or whatever, intel package. But it's not that critical, let's be honest. Uh, so if something goes wrong, we can just leave. I'm what I'm more concerned with. Aha! Hey little cheeky drone. What I'm more concerned with in this mission is getting everyone out unwounded so that I can then progress on to do the network tower and the HQ and whatever else comes up after that. Uh, I know we also have that supply raid and uh, troop column coming up as well, so... And I may even, like, redo that troop column with people from this, depending on how this works out. Let's bring Mr. K, though, over here to the right. Look around, looks good. Here's the plan. Everybody up to this wall? Oh, whoa, Danny's here as well. Okay. Sure, let's get ev all these people right up to this wall. This is a very light destroy relay. Uh, there are no reinforcements until we break concealment, so ideally I just want that drone to, like, go away. I don't have Trojan, I don't believe, with Matt. Nope, I don't. Uh, we could shut him down to, like, run by him. We have a 91% chance on that. Closing on target so now. I might have to do that, actually. Everyone just get up Moving next on. to each other, and then we'll move on right after this. All uh, right, Mr. K, you can just... You know what? Can I drop you down? I don't... I don't really... 100. I think I can drop you down there. I'm not 100% sure, though. So I hear... Oh, hello! Snipey snake with flanky snake as a pod. That is so strange. And then that guy's actually leaving. This is good. There's 10, 11, or 12 enemies. Here comes another solo drone. This is actually very good because now I know it's safe to run up the, the wall to the right here. And I didn't get spotted, so we're in a super, super, super good place. Now let's grab Mr. K and go very aggressive out into the void here. And... Hmm, I can hear mechs in there. I know I have the elevation here, but I highly doubt I'm going to get to fight very much from here. I don't have any sharpshooters anyway, so let's move Mr. K kind of up to this rock. Look around down the street over there. I probably wouldn't have made that move if I didn't know where that second drone is, but since I do, I feel like it's pretty safe. Uh, the rest of you guys, yeah, nothing really to do but just dash down there and get ready to have fun times maybe next turn. I think we'll probably maybe even activate with Danny for with a Shadow Strike. That would be kind of interesting for once. Do something a little bit different. Matt, you can take that high cover position there. Looks good, Shano. Oh, no, you can go right there. Okay, yep, we're gonna go loud next turn. But we're much, much, much closer to the relay now, which is good, because that'll cut down on the amount of time. Oh, hello? What is this? This is this is an M2? No, that's not a longbow. That's an, that's an archer? Is that an M2? They called long? I forget now. Archers are the green ones, right? Oh! Hello! There's just stuff every- Oh, but they're all on top of each other. Do I not have a grenade and a rocketeer right now? The one time I don't have one? Really? Yep, a drone flies out into nowhere. Uh, great. Now. What do I want to do to, for activating here? We have Overwatch. We have nothing, 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 nothing with AoE. Nothing with AoE. Nothing with AoE. Yep, we got no manner of... Uh, okay, no manner of AoE activation. So one, two drones, three, four with the snakes. And I think there's five right here. So that's nine of the 10 to 12 enemies. I think I would be kind of an idiot to go loud right now, even though I do have Shadow Strike on Danny. But frankly, using it? Well, it might make sense to use it, but who the heck's gonna kill that longbow? If I were to use him to Shadow Strike, you'd probably get a guaranteed crit and wipe out one of those guys. Mag could potentially move over here and like hit and run a snake or something, depending on where they go, and then shoot it or do something else. What does hit and run do again? I actually always forget. Okay, can you take additional... You get, it's an action, right? It got changed at some point, get an additional action. Yeah, so you can shoot twice if need be. Uh, Matt could go on Overwatch, like, right out of the gates and probably help out quite a bit with a lot of awesome shots. But the mech, though, who's gonna actually legitimately deal with the mech? Can I shut the mech down? Nope, 40%. It is called a longbow. Well, I could suppress it with Victor, move over there maybe, and, like, shoot its uh, AoE suppression on all of them. That could work. Sure. All right, I'm kind of liking this idea. Let's go for it. Let's toss up an aid protocol on probably... Who's going to go where and do what that's very dangerous? Lots of people could go lots of dangerous places. Mag is the least likely. She has the whatever. You know what? Probably Victor keeping the suppression. 
is very important. So let's do that. We'll toss up Aid Protocol on Victor. We'll use Matt to go on Overwatch since he has the Sentinel. And then we'll break concealment with Danny against nine things pretty much simultaneously. I think the scariest thing here is actually the Rocketeer. I don't want to leave the Rocketeer alive under any circumstance. So I'm going to probably go for my 100%, 100% against that Rocketeer. Six to nine with 91 to crit. Danny, a go for it. That's how we go loud. Bam, one less thing. Yep, that's actually pretty awesome. Crit for 11 right out of the gate. We're probably going to have to use Victor to reserve to shoot that longbow. I doubt the longbow is going to move. I bet he's just going to go straight in. Nope, he is actually going to move. Awesome, Matt. Hit, lay into him if you could. Nice, hit for four. Here comes the Grenadier as well, Matt. I... Yeah, okay, Graze for three. M2 Gunner is very scary, but that thing kind of runs away. Where do you snakes want to go, huh? Where do you guys want to go? Hopefully close enough that we could use Mag to hit and run. And indeed, they did go close enough to use Mag to hit and run. Ooh. Of course, if I come out here with Sean... Wow, I'm one tile away from there from being able to use uh, the both barrels or whatever. But what about Zera? She's even worse off. We could move out there and double shoot this thing. Is this the, the flanky snake? Yes, it is. That being the flanky snake, we don't have to worry about that. We could just move out here, flank it, and then shoot something else. All right, this thing right here, this sentry, I hate that thing. I want it to die right now. Zera, can you get... Why is Zera's movement so incredibly bad? All right. Uh, Sean, nope, you can't get there either. Mr. K, you're kind of uh, otherwise preoccupied right now. Bloody hell. I guess I don't have a huge amount of options against this scout. Unless I wanted to use... Ma nope, even Mag can't get there. At least not without a running gun. Although Mag could come out here, shoot the thing, and then just be standing there. Or... Oh, there's a tree right here. I see. She has to go around the tree. Or we have to go around that way because Danny's in the way. Interesting. All right, well, here's what I'm thinking. Let's move. Zedra, can you get out here? Yeah, we could pop a fortify here with you. You'll flank the flanky snake, shutting him down, and then you can actually shoot over there at the longbow. This seems like the best possible world for me. Let's see if we activate the drone, though, while we do that, because there was a drone. Yep, we did indeed activate the drone. So by shutting down the flanky snake, we activate a drone. Well, I guess that's kind of a trade one way or another. Uh, let's toss up a fortify. Great. And then what do we want to do here? We can shoot either the drone or the mech with a 63. Well, the plan was to just suppress that guy with Victor. There's no real good AOE suppression to be had pretty much anywhere. Someone's got to deal with the drone then. I'm not sure who. Sean does have multiple shots We're from where he is, and there's no real reason. Hmm. Actually, I can just move up here and blow this thing away and not even have to worry about that drone. Not the drone, the snake, rather. Then I could use mag if I want. Well, you can't use... Can you use running gun with hit and run? I think you can, right? It's close encounters that you can't. Or is that... That's probably not right. It seems wrong to me for some reason. Let's do this, though. I'm feeling like mag is going to have no problems whatsoever at least shutting this thing down if we do pop the running gun. So let's do it. Let's run up there right next to that scout who's otherwise going to be very annoying to deal with in any other way. Let's toss up the body shield, not against the mech or the engineer, but rather the heavy gunner, because that's like the biggest threat of all. And then I think we're just going to straight up execute this guy with a 96% to his face and 64% to crit. Go for it, mag. Oh my lord, there he goes. You can also grab an agility and a speed. Yep, we did not get the hit and run as I thought. Uh, now, back over here... I kind of feel like Zera has to shoot this drone, unfortunately. I know one thing, we have to use Sean to take out this snake, so let's move up here with him. We got eight damage on that snake, what kind of shots do we have? 85, five to nine with no crit, not good enough. Instead, we're gonna go... Bulvaris! Ease it down. Wow, critically hit for 10 billion, we picked up an advanced suppressor as well. So most things on the map are dealt with. It's just a matter now of making sure that drone doesn't do drony things that we really don't want to see happen. We could also run up here and slice this guy and kill him if we really wanted to break concealment. I have activated against everything on the map right now, so it probably makes a lot of sense. Let's toss up the evac right away so I don't forget about it like uh, several evac. missions this campaign. This is I feel like if I suppress the mech, the mech is just going to run directly at me and not care at all that I'm suppressing it. But if I don't suppress it, 
It's just gonna like micro missile everybody, so it's gonna be super bad. Uh, either way, Zera, huh? Yeah, we have no chance to kill that thing, even with Victor to like combined. Unless I don't think Victor has any like crazy obvious super awesome man perks. Nope, we don't have any such thing. Uh, so with that being the case, let's actually spread out quite a bit here. We'll move Victor way over here to the right. Yeah, we see the objective. Don't care about that. I do have a shot here, but I don't want that. I want to solo suppress this mech longbow and hopefully prevent it from doing missiles. I mean, well, Zera, I suppose we'll just have you shoot the drone. I mean, it's an 84%. It's not the worst thing in the world. Let's go for it. See what you can do. You probably won't kill it, but you do have Fortify up. And maybe with its uh, red fog, it won't be able to kill you. And then last but not least, do I actually want to use Mr. K to run all the way up here to slice away this Grenadier? Kind of, because I'm worried about it doing something up here against Victor. And I really don't feel like I need the concealment. So let's go far to get right on in there. Mr. K, 87 with 13 grays. Stabby, stabby. I'm worried the mech's going to run the Overwatch and then shoot Mr. K in the back, but we'll see in a second. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Oh, there's the last pod, but that is everything on the map. We got a scout. Uh, a regular drone and an M2 officer, including yellow... Oh, nope, I thought that was everything on the map, but that's another drone. I think I had seen that before and forgotten about it. That's that's all that happened with that one. And it goes to repair the longbow. That is the worst thing in the world. I hate repair. All right, longbow well suppressed. Actually just shoots at Danny. That's the best result we could have hoped for. Doesn't shoot a longbow like type thing. Gunner actually goes on Overwatch. Drone just stands still and shoots at Sean, which is perfect. Sure, it disorients him, but hey, he's like the least useful character in this in this lineup, being like the lowest rank. Snake moves up and probably does some kind of spit because he can't do anything else. And Sean's immune to it anyway. He doesn't care in the slightest. All right. I can give it a try. Okay. Uh, that was uh, pretty good, all things considered. But we've got lots of things everywhere with not too many ways to deal with them. I'm thinking, like, Zera probably has the best bet to just move up here, flank that snake, uh, and maybe shoot back at this drone again. Meanwhile, Sean can't really do a huge amount of stuff here. Plus, there's overwatches to worry about, mostly from that M2 gunner. How can we deal with that gunner? Well, Victor could probably suppress him. Uh, also, I think Danny, or not Danny, Mr. K has a flashbang. That, that would work. It would be less than ideal. Hmm. So Danny has Hunter's Instincts, but there's nothing we can really get a shot on that would be flanked right now. Uh, and if we move over here, we could not even see or shoot that guy. It probably makes sense to have Danny come up here and kill the drone. Since he has nearly 100% chance of pulling that off and he can't Hunter's Instinct anything else. The only problem is then he wouldn't be in range to get Hunter's Instincts on something else uh, in the near future. I do feel like Sean has got very minimal use here. Disoriented, minus 20. Defense, minus 15. Hmm. If we move closer, it's not going to be any better. So, I... F I'm actually worried about this drone right there taking a flank shot at him. I was going to say, I feel like just taking those double shots, but I don't think I'm going to, actually. Let's move Zara in here. She will see this drone. She will flank the snake. That thing will be taken care of for one more turn. Uh, and I think we'll just turn around 84% the drone for the second time. Nice. Anything but a mineral would have done it. Fantastic. Two things being dealt with now as a result of her being there. Now, Mag... Oh, I forgot. That's right. I have lightning reflexes. God, I love lightning reflexes. It is so good. What we don't have, though is a body shield or fortify with mag or a run gun so we can't get very far to do very much i could either move up here and get really close to this thing but then potentially take a whole bunch of shots i think mag can handle it let's go for it let's pull out overwatch with the lightning reflexes oh wait i didn't even move into the right tile to do it what a freaking doofus i am six to eleven uh yeah let's go for it mag i know we have hit and run but whatever can't use it right now anyway. Impressed, Hit and run's going to be a lot more useful when I have an officer who can do Oscar Mike and she has a rifle and can actually shoot something at long range. And we use her like on the outskirts, kind of the flank flank position. Unfortunately, now I still have... How the heck did that not pull the... Oh, the tree was in the way. I don't think there's any place I could have brought Mag to pull the Overwatch then. My mistake. Oh, my mistake. Can I move Victor into a place where he can suppress this guy? No, he'd have to actually stand where he is, which means we'd have to leave the mech to his own devices. 
Well. What's our capture on this drone over there? 49? If that works, that would be awesome. Could I move here and there? The answer is yes. So let's indeed definitely do that. The only problem there is that that's longbow target for the AOE. 413200. All right, let's go for the 41 then. Or I could just shut that mech down or shut that drone down. I don't think I want to. I want to go overwatch with Matt. He's standing back there. Let's go for the 41 with Sean and see what happens. Nice. He hit it for three. Sure, that's actually quite a bit. All right, the only question here is, what do I do about that gunner being on Overwatch? I mean, it's possible I could come in here and slice this... Nope, I'd have to slice this guy standing in the open, and I think we'd get poison on the on the way. So that's less than ideal. I could run way out here. Nope, we get poison on the way there with Danny as well. Could I actually slice the gunner? The answer is yes, but then I'm going to have to pull the Overwatch, and I have almost no chance of actually killing him. And we're not spread out here, so the longbow is definitely going to longbow if we give it the opportunity. Well. I guess we just, uh... Longbow could also run up here and just, like, own, absolutely own uh, mag. So let's do this. Let's go on Overwatch with Matt. Uh, with Mr. K, we don't have too many options here, really. Like, I could sneak around, like, this sort of direction, get further away, maybe take a shot at something else, not pull an Overwatch. It's something, at the very least. Uh, what kind of random shots do we have? They're not very good anywhere. You know what? We could take down the drone, maybe 41%. Mr. K, go for it with your basic SMG. I don't even think we could take it down with the armor. You have to, like, max roll crit it. No, eh, we brought it down to 1 HP, though. It's something. I definitely want to move Danny someplace further away. But honestly, there's not a huge amount of places here. I think I am indeed going to allow that gunner to do whatever it wants. Very dangerous proposition, but I think that's better than allowing the mech to missile everybody. So let's see how this works out for us. And then last but not least, what on earth do I do with Danny here? I guess I just go shoot that drone from a really weird place. I could come up here, but we're kind of, Yeah, let's just go for it. Move up a little bit, shoot the drone, and that's that. Not the best turn in the world, but whatever. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, they're going to shoot at Mag for sure. I'm just worried about the gunner. Scout's going to move up. He doesn't have a great shot. He shoots at Mag, swing and a miss. Oh, wow, actually, 48 plus 20. He did have a pretty good shot. The longbow, well suppressed, once again shoots at Mag, hits for seven with a 28%. If this gunner connects, ooh, the gunner connected with a 37. Mag's hit again, also poison from a dragon round. Officer marks Mag and is now probably going to shoot Mag, and Mag is just getting hammered. Woo. Luckily, she dodged that 52 plus 21. Oh my lord, Mag's taking a beating, but that's all right. That's what assaults are there for. They take the beatings. Okay, Mag's still poisoned. <laughs> She's so wounded. She's so wounded, it's ridiculous. All right, uh, let's see. Sean, can you get out here and blow this snake away? Absolutely lootly. Uh, we could even do a little bit better if Zetra was maybe over here. You know what, from this position with Zetra, we can probably destroy that guy with like some sort of uh, hit and run point blank or something like that. What's this look like? 63, actually that's way worse than I thought it was gonna be. We do have an 83 here, which would help out a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can get Sean over here now. Yes. Well, I can still only get right here if I wanted to kill that snake. Will he be exposed right there to anyone else? The answer is no. He's perfectly fine. Uh, okay. So let's move him on out here. We'll destroy the snake. Oh, wait. We don't have... Oh, my mistake. All right, let's do this then. 83%. Sean, go for it. I, I already used his both barrels. Got way ahead of the game there. Way ahead of the game. So with that being the case, I think we're just going to use... Well, I'm going to wait on this just a, just a second. I wonder if I could shut down the mech. That would make things so much easier. Uh, there's no real place for Danny to get any, like, hit and runs here. So we're going to have to go all in on somebody, and I'm feeling like the all in that we go in on is going to be this there gunner. Right through the window, 79%. That looks super duper. Let's go for it, Danny. Right on in. 
79% all manner of damage. Mm, okay, that's actually pretty good. Hit for eight. But here's the thing that concerns me. It still has two HP. How do we... I, yeah, how do we... What do we do? I, I know I can use Danny to... I mean, uh, Mr. K to slice it, but then he's kind of standing in the open. Well, we can heal up Mag. I suppose that's something. I completely forgot I even had that perk. Yeah, I don't see why I should go for a 40% shutdown when I can just continuously sit here. Although we do have the ability to hit pretty hard with Matt once. We're not really getting any Overwatch shots because nothing's moving in his line of sight that doesn't have uh, whatever. So you know what? Let's actually do this. I'm just going to go straight for the 57 Longbow. Let's start weathering that thing away. Or just completely and utterly miss and hit a car. Yeah, either way. That's fine by me. Now, Mr. K, I do think I want to kill that that uh, gunner, even if it means you're going to be oddly standing in the open. Like, very oddly, but you know what? Let's go for it. That's like 100% with Graze. Don't get her. Stabby, stabby, Mr. K. Bam! <laughs> Cleanse the church, as they say. Reminds me of that old Buffy episode, where they, or the whole season, where they had, like, that church guy who had to be dealt with in various ways. Uh, this snake we really don't have to deal with, so I think Zera, it makes the most sense to try for the 63%, both battles 14% Graze. Zera! Oh no! We put up both battles into that guy's back and only grazed him for seven. That's a thing that can happen. Now, this is something that I can do. We can bring Mag out here. Whatever you say. Yep, that's right. Bring her right out into the open and let's go for a hit and run 70% with 10% graze. Boom! That's how it's done. That is how it's done. And now I think what I'm going to do is probably just pop up a... Uh, body shield against something. I'm not sure what yet. Let's use Victor to once again suppress this mech. I guess I could have reloaded first. I thought the mod would do it for me, honestly. And then otherwise, yeah, Mag, there's, there's really no point to you. I think the officer, if we flank him, is going to move and mark, so let's toss up a body shield against the mech, and we'll come back here where we're flanking the officer, forcing him to run around and toodle frutal. Now, Mech, you're probably still going to stand there and shoot while suppressed. God, Victor is just completely controlling this Mech right now. Officer does move up and is indeed going to not mark, but rather take a shot at Victor and connect to 45. Well, that's not great. Here comes this snake again, just doing all kinds of toodle fruiting. because what else is it going to do to really answer nothing? All right, now, everything has made ginormous mistakes. Everything has made ginormous mistakes. Let's get Mag out here with the hit and run and be like, yo, officer, uh, I would like to inform you of a small problem with your face. <laughs> that worked. 99% critical hit Mag, 71 crit for 5th freaking team. Also, we can arc pulse this longbow if I wanted to. Uh, too bad I don't have more ammo, that's unfortunate, because I could have shot that thing again. I'm wondering if I can actually kill the mech right now with everybody if I really, really, really lay into it. And I think the answer is actually yes. Let's bring Danny right in the right, face of that thing. Right in the face of it and just lay right on into it. 82%, go for it, Danny, mech face. Okay, we only hit for three, which is less than ideal. Uh, Mr. K, you would actually have to stabby stabby it. Because that's pretty much the way you're going to have to roll here with this. That's only going to do one one single damage. Not ideal. Zera has two 63s. Let's go for it. Four to seven each. Okay, now I'm regretting all my decisions because it does look like I'm not going to be able to do this. 75 though, Zera. Second time's a charm. Really? Okay, then. Well... Let's bring Sean in here to make sure this snake is flanked. Okay, I'll go. And then we'll take another shot at the mech. Oh wait, do I not have a shot at the mech from where we are? I thought we would. No, I do. I do, 61% Sean, go for it. This one single mech is ridiculous. You're just standing in the open, surviving through everything. Well, one thing I could do, doesn't the arc pulsar reduce hacking defense? It might be possible to then like shut it down via hack. I don't honestly know if that's the case or not. What kind of shot do we have here? 67? Eh, I did say I was going to go for broke. Let's actually go for broke. Mag, Arctic Pulse, 100%, right in the thing's face. 
Uh, it says hack defense decrease. We min rolled the hack though for only two. We had a 40 before, we have a 52 now. I'm not liking that one bit, but you know what? It may be our last resort option here if we can't kill it like right now. Let's move up with Victor. He's got the power of a thousand victors behind him. 74 with 18 grays. Please no miss again. Oh. Well, there goes that problem. Grab some advanced autoloader superior speed. That's pretty cool. And then we just come over here and slicey dicey this thing and get the show on the road. Get the show on the road, Mr. K. Nice. Hit for seven. Fantastic. Drop that down to 29. We can probably almost finish it up with just you sitting there slicing it by yourself. I will move Matt up and go on Overwatch for whatever reason. I don't know why. Snake's going to dance around, but honestly, come on. It's just a dumb little snake. It doesn't know what it's doing. You got you to gotta forgive the snake. It, it just doesn't know. It just doesn't know. That's it. It just doesn't know. Zara, can you just shoot the snake where you are? Sort of, but you'd be a lot better off running into its face and being like, yo, snake, face present. Really? Gray's for three. Okay, with a 90-10. Just, I'm just not having the best day today, it seems. <laughs> just not having the best day. Danny, pop a free reload. Run across the map and please slice the snake into oblivion. It's a 64% with some grays. Yes, there we go. Oh! What is this? How are these things on the map? I don't understand this. Destroyed relays, do they have faceless by default? Maybe they do. This is something I like do not remember, but apparently is a thing. I guess uh, we could pop a reload here with mag. Ready to go. Great, now we can pop a run and gun with mag. Great, down. now we can move Victor maybe like, where the heck was that thing? Could I see it from over here? I can't see it from where I am, so the answer is maybe. All right, I see that it's two tiles ahead of that thing. We do see it over there. 81%, great. Now, now that I have all this going, Mag, where can you go that you could shoot it with your running gun? The answer is right there. Not the best shot in the world, but you do have aim of the champion. So, you know what? Let's do this. Toss up a body shield against it. God, the amount of actions Mag has taken this turn is, like, ridiculous. 62%, 6 to 11, bam! Nice, hit for seven. That's actually a colossal help. Mr. K could indeed both simultaneously slash this thing, because why not? Bam! Hit for four. Let's go see if Victor can finish off the faceless, though, out there. Wherever the heck he is. Uh, 81%. Looks like he probably can. Yep, it's down. Right in the pile of angels, apparently. And then we can just sit here and slice this thing into oblivion. Whew. Okay. Well, that was a lot of talking for... Pretty good success. I did take some wounds, but okay. not too many. Pop some reloads, pop some runs. And you know what? That's probably going to end up being it. Oh, wait. Isn't there a tower? This is Firebrand. It's time to go. There is a tower over here with Matt. Can we, uh, can we actually move to a place where we can see that tower? And just maybe there's something really awesome we can get out of it? Like a small supply cache? Sure! Okay, guys. Here we go. Please don't make me super sad. Just please reward me very, very, very gratuitously for clicking... This button with skew! Yes! Ah, I don't know why that is so, so invigorating. It's like I want to go climb a mountain now or something. Just from, like, getting that one stupid supply nonsense. Mr. K, would you like to just slice and then slice again? That would be awesome. Nice, hit for six. <laughs> like, Mr. K is just practicing his slicing over here. It's like, sure, no problem. I got this. I can slice and dice every day of the week. Uh, we could bring Mag over here. This would be fine. Let's shoot the relay from that position, 6 to 11. Right through the wall, of course, because why shoot through a door? You can shoot through a solid brick wall. And then last but not least, I think most people need to move up. I don't want to deal with that last thing of reinforcements. Uh, yep, Sean can finish okay. this up from that perfect little cubby right there. Bam, dead. Wow, that looked pretty cool, huh? I really do like this church map. Or the church setting. You don't, you don't, I don't get to play in the church enough, really. I think the first time I had ever seen XCOM 2, it was like Beagle playing a church map. And it was all bugged out, of course, and the AI wasn't like doing the right thing, but... Anyway, let's Overwatch and end the turn. As long as this is not a mech that goes in Overwatch, I really don't care what it is. And it's not a mech that goes in Overwatch. Got 
What did he, did he say? Did he say cracker? Is that what he just said to me? The cracker. Like first they want the donuts, now they want the crackers. Uh, Mr. K, please don't light yourself on fire in the church, like right before we're, we're set to get out of town. Please. All right, let's just get everyone out here. These things give no reinforcements, no loot, no nothing. There's no reason to be here at all. We are out. Who actually got wounded on this mission, though? Mag took a ginormous beating. That's for sure. Uh, I think everyone else, though, is mostly good. I think Victor got hit a little bit, but yeah, whatever. Everyone out. Bam. That was a pretty good success. I was a little bit worried about it, especially in the start there when I activated against 10,000 things, but Operation Euthanizing Raid was actually pretty good. It was a, like a low level, maybe a moderate level, like tactical involvement on my part. A moderate success. We took a moderate number of wounds. We had some moderate RNG to deal with. That mech was just manhandled by Victor like the entire mission. It didn't do any longbowing, it just stood there being pretty much useless. Yeah. Key All-Star MVP player. Well, let's see. Right off the bat, Mag stands out to me as having done a hell of a lot in that mission. All sorts of cool, interesting stuff. Victor was very extremely effective at one task and one task only, but it was an extremely important task. Uh, so I'm gonna say probably it's a toss up between the two and I can't really decide. Ultimately, that's what I guess the comment section's for. Usually one or two people kind of duke it out, by which I mean say, why the hell didn't you obviously think it was like Mr. K because he stabby stabbied the relay? <laughs> And my response to be, uh, you know, probably, maybe Mr. K is the key all-star MVP hero of this mission. I mean, he did run up there and stabby stabby that relay, and I didn't even have to think about the relay's, like, overwhelming 40 HP worth of stuff, and everyone else in the map was free to focus on more important things. Alright, so here's Danny, hit and run, definitely, 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 that's gonna be super fun. I now realize that, don't I get, don't I want to give Mag a, a stutter gun? I think I do, not like, I don't even, I was going to give her a rifle at one point, but I think I want the mobility from the coil SMG. That's what I want to do. We're going to get that in like, about what, a week? No, two weeks or so? That's going to be super fun when we get there. 35 supplies from hacking, that's awesome. Two advanced suppressors, that's super awesome. Three speed, super awesome. An advanced autoloader, definitely a big help. Uh, in, uh, in addition, rather, we've got 116 intel now, and what's our POI? Alien Alloys, which is fantastic because I have a grand sum total right now of zero. So all these things being considered, how much time do I have down here? Four days, 21 hours. It would be possible for me to cancel that and send in a much stronger s crew. Do I need to with four days, 21 hours? As I recall, the crew that's in there now was getting in with four days and 20 hours, but I also just picked up those two advanced suppressors. So let's go take a look real quick. Alternatively, I could queue up a squad for the network tower, but that's mostly rockets, which I don't think I have any available of right now. I mean, I'm going to need Yuri, I'm going to need Alma for that, so I'm going to have to wait on that one. Maybe even seven more days for Drigri. We have only Danny, basically. Uh, also, we could send Zera in. Yeah, I don't think it would really make that big of a difference to cancel it, so we're just going to let it go. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to have Danny, but really, eh, it's not worth the time. Let's finish up this here scan as i recall all right what's the strength there six how the hell is the strength six what what i have been running insane amounts of missions in east asia in new india in new arctic pulling like supply raids left and right all over the place the strength is six in west asia I don't even know how that's possible. So right now, my regions are 0, 5, 5, 6, and 7. And the only reason I even went to go contact this one was because I thought it was going to be low strength. That's absurdity. Let's go full on intel. Maybe we'll find a troop column or something. We'll stick in Danny for now because I'm sure there's going to be at least one faces in there. Uh, that's kind of depressing. Let's hit up the alloys right now because I'm going to want them to build the coil gun soon or just in general if in case I need any like scrubby w supplies to carry me through something i have nearly enough intel to make contact with new mexico just brute force it 
134. We have 116. I just need a little bit more. Uh, I have coil guns in 17 days. Do I want to delay that a couple more days to research something that gives me intel? Like, say, a data cache. It would be six days, though. Six days is a lot of days. Plus, that's going to be closer to the black site. So it should have just as much strength. And it's only four rebels, so it shouldn't be that great of a place to go. Huh. Uh huh. Uh, maybe I don't want to do that. Let's just stick with the coil guns for now. And we'll keep scanning here until we have a mission, which we're going to have in, it looks like, almost zero seconds here. We've got a 100% supply rate. It's now light moderates. But when I was doing it before, it was light. Did the strength go up in New India? Maybe it's coming from West... West Asia is now up to seven? What? 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 So, okay, here's the thing. This supply rate is coming from West Asia, I'm pretty sure. Because at 100%, it was supposed to be light moderate. The strength didn't go up in New India, which means um, it's very likely coming from West Asia. Uh, doesn't, that, doesn't the strength point get removed right away, or does it get removed later? So once this gets destroyed, it'll go down to six, which still doesn't really help me very much. Uh, that being the case, this is a this is a three-man mission. Uh, against the light force, maybe. Light moderate, we're not going to have the cooldowns. I'm going to have to boost that. And the whole reason I wanted to do it was because I didn't want to have to boost it. Even if I do boost it, I think we can I think we can do it. I'm gonna have to think about it though. I don't really have the time to think about it because it's gonna be right now or never, basically. Well, if I don't do it, New India's strength goes up one. That's gonna make the troop column right after that that's undergeared even more difficult. And then that's gonna in turn to make the network tower more difficult. This is where the strategy section is really putting on the pressure. Really putting on the pressure in every way. Felipe, myself, and Alma. Can the three of us do this? I think we can if I boost it. I am going to boost it, which means I'm not going to be able to contact New Mexico. Although, at the same time, I kind of really do need to go somewhere else. And Well, I guess if I liberate New India, I could always contact East Africa with six rebels. And then Eastern Europe with four rebels, we get the we get the free network tower. I don't even need to liberate. I actually get the network tower for free after doing the network uh, tower mission itself. So I think I just go all in on this and hope we can manage to do it. And then I can even uh, just expand over here with with reduced costs. So that's the plan. I don't know if it's a good plan. I'm boosting a three man supply raid for some reason. It's oh there we go. It went from light moderate to very light. All right, this is gonna be fun. As we're returning, a three-man, very light supply raid. Very important strategically, important tactically, because it's going to give us all kinds of corpses and stuff that I need to, uh, just like basic stuff to sell to be able to buy the coil guns that are upcoming in a couple weeks. Uh, and also very important because I'm leading it. I know Alma's the officer, but really I'm in charge here. I feel like I've got the highest aim. I've got also the highest rank. I hereby declare myself in charge. And of course, if anything goes wrong, it's probably going to be Alman's fault for missing a rocket. But we'll see how that works out in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. All right, now, everything has made ginormous mistakes. Everything has made ginormous mistakes. Let's get Mag out here with the hit and run and be like, Yo, officer, uh, I would like to inform you of a small problem with your face! <laughs> That worked. 99% critical hit mag, 71 crit for fifth freaking teen.